What's up guys, welcome back to Punning for the People. For those of you who are new, my name is Jacob. I am an Australian, I am living here in Germany. We are in Hildesheim, Germany right now. That's where I live, but I have a special guest today. Some of you may already know who he is. He's currently touring around Germany because obviously we have so much free time at the moment. He's making use of it. He's seeing all of the sites that the beautiful country has to offer. He has decided to come and stop in at Hildesheim and see me. I can show him around Hildesheim, we can talk about YouTube, why we decided to start YouTube channels, what we think about YouTube and just our thoughts so far on Germany because I've obviously been here for collectively three years. He's been here since March, April earlier this year. So we're going to catch up with him, we're going to talk about everything that this country has to offer and everything YouTube has to offer. So I am at the Hilda Summer Dome right now and I have our special guest on today's Punning for the People vlog. For those of you who know who this is, this is CB Cantwell. For those of you who don't know who it is, CB is the quarterback at the Straubing Spiders this year. He is an American. He is from Texas. Correct. And you went to school in Oklahoma? I went to a small school in Oklahoma. Small Correct. school in Oklahoma, quarterback. He's here, he's started to vlog. If you've also watched Silas's videos, he was a guest star in a couple of Silas's videos as well. So he's making his way around Germany right now, vlogging his daily adventures. He's seen a lot of cities, he's here in Hildesheim. So we're gonna have a coffee, we're gonna check out inside the Hildesheimer Dome, and then we're gonna sit down and talk about YouTube, football, and just things in general. Let's go. Ja, ich spiele vor einer Sportmannschaft hier in Hildesheim. Ach so, ja, was für eine Sportart ist das? American Football. Aha. You do? Er spielt in Straubing. Ach ja, in Bayern. Ja, aber wir haben keinen Football hier. CB ist, weil wir haben Freizeit gegen äh, Deutschland fahren. Ja, <lacht> ah, ja schön. Ja, schön. Sehen, ja, äh, Platz hier, ne? ja. Dresden, Berlin, Hamburg, Hannover und jetzt Hildesheim. Ja, super. Ja, super. Ja, super. Ja, ja, ja. Wir suchen ja. alles äh, wichtige Stadt in ja. Äh, ja. Deutschland. Ja. Ja. Hildesheim ja. ist Nummer eins. Ja, ja, ja. 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 Really good. Ich muss immer Deutsch sprechen. There you go. Ja, ähm, Sehr gut. Marianne's mom ist hier, so this weekend we're trying to speak as much German as ah, possible. Okay. Jacob's subscribers, get off the dude's back, he's trying. So obviously CB's here in Strawberry in Bavaria playing football um, and he's from the States but one thing that we kind of always talk about at the start that we don't really talk about much during our YouTube careers or when they kind of start getting bigger is why we started YouTube and what the main reason behind it all was. For me obviously I've talked about it, it was to stay in touch with people at home, let people know what I was doing, it was never designed to be this crazy vlogging about Germany or German things, really just to show my parents and my family what I was doing on a weekly basis. What was your reason for starting YouTube? Uh, so in school I did like a little bit of video before so I kind of had experience making videos. Coming to Germany I really wanted to document my time here and what I wanted to do and what my experience like was in Germany. I really wanted to do primarily just like football videos. Once football was cancelled I had to think okay what else can I do? I really don't like sticking a camera in my face and talking so much. That's not the joy because I don't like looking at myself. But I enjoy the, the art behind it and the, the value of saying, oh, look, 
I made through all the process of filming and editing and here's the final product. So knowing that you make something that other people enjoy has really been something I've enjoyed about the whole vlogging and YouTube experience and getting to travel the world and meet cool people like Jacob. I think what my YouTube started as is a little bit different to what it is now. Obviously, uh, people who have watched me before know that I'm not exactly the most in-your-face guy when it comes to talking to the camera. I have trouble doing it in crowds. I shoot a lot of B-roll. If you've seen any of CB stuff, it is pretty similar to some of the stuff that I make with a lot of B-roll, a lot of nice music, a lot of nice shots. Um, the speaking's kind of in between the nice shots to tell a story. Um, but we're not exactly making the focal point of the video about us or what we're doing. And I think that's kind of where you evolve as a YouTuber as you start being able to introduce yourself into the story. And it's something that we're both working on because we both had no experience before starting our YouTube yeah. channels. Yeah. Um, we had to pick up editing on the go, filming on the go, getting good shots on the go. And while we were doing all that, we also had to think about what we wanted to be like in front of a camera and that's something that neither of us were really comfortable or used yeah. to so it's interesting to see that people from other parts or other walks of life starting YouTube also have similar views as to what I have and I have similar views to what City has. So why CB is in Hildesheim of course we have to make sure he goes to my favourite place and that's where we're heading right now and you guys know exactly where that is. Yeah, always networking. He's gonna carry this thing like a baby. This thing is freaking huge, bro. <laughs> so we went to Liebling's Koenig, we're gonna sit down, we're gonna grab coffee, have a bit more of a chat around YouTube, and we're gonna see CB try to attempt to eat the uh, the best Durham in, uh, in Hildesheim. Look at it compared to my head. <laughs> Holy cow. There's fries in it too. <laughs> so CB only had his first Durham the other day in Berlin, right? Uh, yeah. It was his first Durham. He's had Durham before. So he had one in Berlin and I saw it on the video and I was like, this is not Durham. This is small, this is tiny. <laughs> so we took him to Lieblingskönig and he has got, we went there and I was having a chat to the owner because we obviously, we know her because um, we go there a fair bit. And I was saying like, I had to bring him here. It's the best place in all of Hildesheim. And she's made this thing special for CB. And it is literally the biggest one I've ever seen her make. Right. And I'm a VIP there. First bite, first bite of it, here we go. Oh. oh my god. That is sehr gut. <laughs> sehr gut. So we're sitting here having coffee and CB's trying to down this Durham. So um, we wanted to talk about, first things first, is like when I came into YouTube, when I decided to start my channel, I knew about people like Nalf, I knew about people like Silas. Um, shout out to Nalf, shout out to Silas, shout out to Connor and Zach, all my boys. I knew about them and what they were about, but I didn't know what I was gonna be like as a YouTuber or what I wanted to do. And now CB's coming in, and CB is obviously friends with Silas, and he's seen Nalf, he's seen Connor, he's seen me, and he's seen Zach and he's coming into this football YouTuber environment and I kind of wanted to talk about what it was like for him coming into this environment knowing what everyone does or has done and what it was like for him, like what were the pressures and what he kind of expected. Uh, <clears throat> so like I said, being friends with uh, Silas at first, and when I first found out that I was gonna come to Germany, I, I looked up on YouTube all the information that there is to know on the German Football League and Silas was the first guy that popped up and um, when I started doing videos and I first came to Germany, a lot of people are like, oh, you're just copying Silas or you're just copying Connor. But once I actually got to hang out with Silas, like we're like the same person. And Silas, if you see this, I'm sure he can agree with me. Um, yeah, so like all the guys before me, I, I've kind of been able to see their stories, what they've done in the past, what's worked, what hasn't worked, and kind of molded it and figured it out on my own. The hardest part is figuring out who you are 
um, not only as a person, but I mean, as a YouTuber, having a camera around you all day really gets you to figure out, okay, here's what I am, here's who I'm not, here's what I like, here's what I don't like, here's what I'm comfortable with, and here's what I'm not comfortable with. For me, I'm all about getting out of your comfort zone. And so at first, I didn't know what that looked like. So I kind of basically copied other people because I saw, okay, this is how they did it, so I'm gonna do it that way. I wanna say as well is when I came into the city to meet with CB, we were planning on only really being together in the city for a couple hours, and that was like, I think the plan was to maybe be done like two hours ago. We've been walking around the city and we've been talking, like we sat down twice and we've been talking a lot. And um, our visions with our channels are very similar. The way we think about YouTube is very similar and the way we think about life is very similar. So it was really cool and interesting to see the people behind the camera. And like I said earlier, I found his videos to be kind of similar to the way I started doing it and the way I wanted to do my channel. And it's interesting when you talk to someone outside of YouTube as well, how similar you find the way you look at things to be and it kind of showcases that in your videos as well. At first, I was probably very similar to the Silas, the Connors, the Naus, the, the Jacobs, the whatever you want to put there, I was probably very similar because I had no idea what I was doing. Especially for me as my own channel, I realized, okay, I'm not like them in this way. Uh, this is me, this is CB, I am a certain way. But you don't figure that out right away. It takes time, just like anything. If you want to be successful at something, first you have to fail and learn from your lessons and mistakes. So, But once you kind of get going, and for me it's been about four months of serious YouTubing, you're like, okay, this is who I am, this is who CB is, it's time and to practice and practice and figure out who you really are and what you want your channel to really be. Yeah, and we talked about that, like um, why we started YouTube and why we keep doing it and how we can be ourselves while we're doing YouTube. And the biggest thing is like why we start YouTube is because we want to showcase ourselves and what we do as people um, in this world to the rest of the public. Um, we don't do it to be um, shocking or we don't do it for shock and awe value. Um, we don't do it to, to be successful. Um, obviously that might come in time. Why we do it is because we want to show people who we are what we like doing in life and how our life unfolds. And I think that's kind of what some people miss or some people forget about YouTube is it's us putting ourselves in front of the camera, uh, making ourselves vulnerable to the public to show you guys what we enjoy doing and, and what we're doing in our everyday life and in our private lives. And that was kind of the reason for the video today is kind of showing you why, number one, YouTube's important to us, but also kind of why we thought it would be a way for us ourselves to showcase to you um, exactly how we live our lives. And that's why I think YouTube for us is such an important platform because you get to see outside of the football field and you get to see um, outside of the glitz and glamour of social media. That's what vlogging is and what vlogging can be is showing you the real people, the real Jacob, the real punning for the people and the real CB. <laughs> So after our nice little chat at coffee, we managed to get maybe between a half and two thirds we'll of the way, we'll call it half, through the Durham. So if you're in Hildesheim, I know everyone wants me to try other places, but you have to go to Lieblingskönig, you have to get their Durham. Um, it's massive, it's delicious. Um, CB's now, now experienced, <laughs> now experienced that our function niched. CB's going to stay in Hildesheim for the night and then he's off on his next adventure through Germany. But that's really it for the vlog guys. We talked about why um, YouTube's special to us, why we started YouTube, um, what we think about the scene here in, in Germany, obviously with the other vloggers and, and, and the pressure or the expectation that's put on us. Um, we showed CB around um, Hildesheim. We showed him a couple of nice little places like the Hildesheim Dorm. We walked around the Marktplatz, um, we showed him Lieblingskönig and we just kind of sat down, had a chat about football, the situation currently um, in Germany with football and not being able to play, just our backgrounds, like where we come from, how we found football, how we found the GFL. It's been a really cool experience because it's not often we get to um, sit down and talk with people that are like-minded as we are, that have the same interests as us with YouTube and football put together and just chill. So thank you to CB for stopping in on Hildesheim. I know it's not the biggest and most important city in Germany, but it's definitely no, it. a nice place to be. And thank you to all of you guys for watching. If you haven't checked out CB's channel, make sure I'll leave a link in the description. Go give him a sub, give him some love. If you're not subscribed to my channel, give me a sub, give me some love. And, uh, and as always guys, my name is Jacob. This is Punning for the People. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.